You are now listening to a Rabble Press podcast. If you're the type of person who would download an episode recap, you probably already know what's going on, or you're like me and just love spoilers. But that being said, this podcast most surely contains Game of Thrones spoilers. You've been warned, spoilers are coming. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Reigns of Podcast Samir. My name is Chris Taylor. I am joined today. I'm going to go around the horn uh to my top left i got mark bun hey 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 there it is right above me i got tay cutner hi and over to my nope other side over to this side i got chris trache hey hey what's going on so we're gonna continue our um rewatch and re-review of season eight of game of thrones uh, if you missed last week me and tay uh discussed the first episode, Winterfell, and see how it holds up a year later. Oh boy, the same. Um, yeah, and so so <laughs> Not here a big we are. Surprise there. Here we are. Yeah. We're gonna do. I think unanimously, though, we can agree that the A Night of the Seven Kingdoms is the best episode of season eight, right? Yes. Like unanimously. Uh, I got it. <laughs> well, that's uh, yeah. I mean, that, that's a low bar to. This is still a pretty shitty problem. episode. Yeah. What? Oh, oh man, yeah. no way. No. There is only have, one good scene in this entire I episode. I have one of my specific notes. Is it already is, butt? Who's cutting onions? No. <laughs> one of one of my notes is who's cutting onions? Because shh, Niagara Falls. Yeah. What? That one scene and then the rest of the episodes. Which mess. scene are I'll, you referring we'll to? We'll get there and I'll tell you what scene. Oh, it's the scene. Oh. It's the the holly up oh. the the season really Arya's butt Arya's butt Arya's side boob and I haven't just like finally finally <laughs> after it years of seeing her as a little child it brought a tear to my eye <laughs> finally get to see her butt oh I don't like that at all I don't like that at all all right so uh the episode starts off with uh you know Jamie in front of Daenerys and and Sansa and Jon and Bran and all these people that he's wronged over the years, um, kind of facing the music. Um, and Daenerys just going on about what her and uh, Viserys decided they would uh, do to him if they ever caught him. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like I, I like this scene. Um, I like the scene. I like I feel like Jamie's arc. Mm -hmm. this went is... and then ended and then accidentally kept going right because this like... <laughs> should have been the end of his arc because like this... he does so yeah. many of the right things here he's like this goes beyond family this goes beyond loyalty this is like about us surviving this is not but about if you... I believe you can roll back tape on this I have never been on board with the Jamie Lannister redemption arc I think right. he's still a terrible person right. oh no and, and I don't Love think character and, and I think the thing is, is like, because at, at one point he says, like, do you want me to apologize for the stuff I did? Because I'm not going to. Well, so my question is, do you and me, like, this is a bit more relevant later as he has later scenes. Do you think he he actually wants this or he's just like, OK, this is what I'm supposed to do to be a good person? You know, people that like get married because that's what they're supposed to do or have a kid because that's what they think they're supposed to do. Uh, I think I get the vibe that he actually wants to do it. I don't think he's doing it because he feels like it's making him a better person or anything. I think he just generally thinks like I have to do this or we're all gonna die. I agree. I think that this. Is, I think this is a genuine, uh, a genuine act on his part, not, um, not just like oh this will get me into heaven kind of thing. Ah. Uh. Right. So. I mean, the way they wrote his character leading up to this moment should lead you to believe that this is a genuine moment, and I do believe it is a genuine moment. Right. But then... It's afterwards the writing... that he... Well, I mean, it's afterwards that he goes back... And I mean, it's funny because there's a couple scenes in this episode where, where they allude to him going back to Cersei. Right? Like, when he's talking to Tyrion, and we'll get to it, but when he's talking to Tyrion, and Tyrion says, like, you knew who she was the whole time. You still loved her. Like, he always has known what a piece of shit she is, but still goes back. So, yeah. um, so I like, 
the um so uh where where was I? Oh, Brienne stands up for him, which is which is pretty good. Oh, the the things we do for love when Brienne just drops that little oh. Every time Bran opens his mouth, I'm just like... Ugh. Every time Bran oh. opens his mouth, I have a note oh. here that says, um, how is this guy king? Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's like even worse. Like before and I was like, like, I don't like it. And now it's... <sighs> and it's like his accent changes. <laughs> <laughs> he became and a robot. And his changes. He became a robot. He's, uh, he, you know what he is, <laughs> Mark? He's in the chair, right? He's a fucking. Is he Stephen Hawking? No, no, he's a fucking. Is he Professor um, Xavier? Uh, what's the fucking robot? The Dalek. That's all he is. Or he's the the oh, guy who I runs guess. the Daleks. I don't know. I don't watch what that stupid show. Exceptionally nerdy thing. Did you just reference Doctor <laughs> Who? I don't watch that shit. Don't worry. Uh, I just know them. There's cause... a robot. Yeah, there's robots. There's lots of robots in Doctor well, it's Who. Which is funny because his name is actually Davros. There you go. Which is kind of like Davos, to... but less exactly less cool, way oh, less cool. Awesome. Okay, so um, so Brienne stands up for him, and then Sansa's like, "Well, if you trust him, uh, and you say he, you'll fight beside him, then I'm cool with it." And then Daenerys asks what John thinks, and he's like, "We need every hand we can get, even if it's only one." That was actually yeah. a really good joke. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then after that do you think the director said okay everyone get up with their best pouty face and right. walk away that's exactly what they said because i think if you count them it's like the world mm -hmm. record of most pouty face walks away and then in the history of tv i also noticed her her very when she's like very well like we'll keep them like that was a little you know we're watching for the evil yeah side and, well, and it was funny. Just, just a little it's funny that she didn't mention that you know just the year before you tried to kill me yeah Ooh. Yeah. danny yeah i thought that was a little because jamie Cause everybody's oh, trying right, that right, with right, the right. fucking thing and then yeah but does she even know does she even know he was there uh she stared him down when he was coming at her right she did do that Wait, hold on you're looking at a dude <laughs> on a away horse were they? running at you with a spear and you but don't she know have known jamie lannister was leading that right i army. don't think i don't think she knew that jamie lannister was technically that guy but you're you're not wrong you're not wrong yeah so well yeah i had a like doesn't want she was so she was easy to forgive him after torching sam's entire family right she wasn't like hey bitch bend the knee all right i have a couple questions okay about this scene uh so i still i know we talked about this last week but like was teary like i did so fucking out of character for me that Tyrion was so fooled. Tyrion is an idiot and Daenerys is figuring it out. That's literally my note. Remember when Chris was so insistent <laughs> that Tyrion was secretly working for Cersei? I thought that there was... Hey, though. it would have been a better fucking turnaround. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it would have been... It's, it was such a better explanation as, like, we have eight seasons of this guy being the smartest man in the universe and whoa! Same whoa. with Maris. Maris like, well, he's <laughs> keeping his mouth shut. Oh, no. And then everyone is so... Like, I just didn't get the... How, like, is this one dude really going to make a difference? Or was the hope he would rally the Lannisters. Why uh, didn't he, like, surely in, in a battle between Cersei and Jamie? Right, he's got to have some people that are like, hey, you know what? I think I'd rather follow Jamie than Cersei. I'll go with you. Right. Mm. But he does only have one hand. But, like, if I'm, if I, if this guy has tried to kill me, mm -hmm. this one dude isn't going to make much of a difference to right. me. I feel like a good a good line would have been if he would have said that, like, yes, yeah, Cersei's not sending one, but I believe I have some followers that will follow me. That right. would have been a good cool And idea. he didn't even need to show them. He didn't even need no, to reference them. He just did to say, and maybe they don't even show up. Actually, it was the, the, best part, the best part about that whole thing that Jamie was telling uh, the whole North that Cersei isn't coming. She's got the Golden Company, and then they're going to wait for you to dwindle down. And then even when you guys don't know down, I don't think you guys can take on the Golden Company. Right. Spoilers. It was one-sided. 
not for the Golden Company. Right. Which yeah, is, I guess if, if that was it was irrelevant. If I, that was the, his purpose, like shit, I got a ride, and at least let them know right, this that, other army they're expecting that they're going to lose, coming. and that they're yeah. going to lose when they face that other army. Oh no, just kidding. Then then focus on that rather than hey, it's me with one hand. So then hang I'll on. Is him going up there? Like, was there any point at all? No, there was no I get, point. I guess there was for, no like, point from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. So I mean, let's <laughs> be serious here. I guess they, just if you like what Mark said, if you go with the explanation, he felt the need to come to Winterfell to at least owe them. Hey, this other army you're waiting for isn't coming. Right. Yeah. I can. I can buy that. Right. Um, but it just needed to be said in a different way. Yeah. Well, I mean, he didn't have to go up there and tell him. They could have just said, hey, uh, it's getting close to the fight. Do you guys see the Lancer army anywhere? Uh, no? They, they no ain't coming. Okay. Well, they <laughs> said they'd come, so. Well, then this guy who has been super smart for the last eight fucking years is pretty sure they're coming now all of a sudden. Or even Varys. Hey, Varys, you're little birds. You know, you, you want to, you know, tap that number and get us the lowdown. No? Okay. Nope, no, 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 no. Bran has all the birds now, and he That's ain't right. saying shit. Yeah, and Bran could even do that. Like but no, no, words. I'm not gonna work at all. Um, Bran's powers make no sense, so let's not get Br started Bran, on that. Bran makes no sense. All right, anyways, I okay. I think we're gonna get started on it in later episodes, though. <laughs> all right, let's move on. So the next scene, um, we quickly see Daenerys telling Tyrion that he's gonna lose his job if he doesn't <laughs> get his shit together. Um... And then we go to Gendry, uh, who's working hard. Um, oh, he's working hard. And Arya, like, comes in the door, and she's, like, totally creeping on him. <laughs> like, totally creeping on him. Obviously, like, weird. With, with where it goes, but it, it's so weird. The best part is she didn't know the cameras were rolling. That's, That's right. the crazy part. <laughs> so It's like they only put this in just for fan surf, because the way they developed Arya's character up to that point was... She was focused on a revenge plan. She trained to be an assassin, and that's her goal. This nope, gotta whole get episode <laughs> is fan service. I know. Okay, just want to make sure. Um, but, yeah, but, you, you, but you're betraying the character. Oh, they betrayed sure. all of the characters. Yeah, yes. I don't think yeah, any of the characters did it for not, one of them. Yeah. None of the characters Let's just got... not concentrate on her, but it's true. Yeah, why are we picking on Arya? I'm just saying, it comes out at this moment like, where did this come from all of a sudden? There was like no build up, just like boom. So uh, I know, Chris, we're going to do this when we do our episode breakdown, but my only note for this scene is I, I wrote Arya strong for some reason. Yeah, well, because she I can also... throw the daggers. Okay, great. Yeah, I she really that. threw those daggers. D does Gendry end up serving any purpose? Yeah, he made all the weapons. He makes the weapons, but he, he can do it off screen. He didn't need to be on screen for that shit. So okay. the story purpose, I mean. <sighs> Him being a bastard Baratheon really, it served Stannis's storyline, but Stannis's storyline ended three seasons ago. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's almost like they forgot. It ha <laughs> <laughs> I made that joke. We last should have week. that. Oh we shit! We should have Jerry. that on the board. We should have that on the soundboard. All right. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. So she throws the daggers. He's like, ah, I guess I'll make your weapon then. I'll get I'll get right on it, he says. Um, so then we go to Jamie and Bran in the Godswood. And Who ja who wheeled him to the tree? And I, where are they now? Why doesn't he have yeah. the <laughs> they I don't know why him he, off. Yeah, yeah, he just he just likes looking at the tree. I think the birds wheeled him. Who oh. brought him out there? The birds. That's why he wards into the crows. That's how he's getting around. He's warding the crows to push him around. <laughs> Amazing. That's it. Like in Cinderella? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, and and my note literally here is how the hell can Bran be the king? Like it doesn't. It this guy. Why is just how did he get to the tree? Uh, so Jamie's basically like, "Hey, sorry, I fucked you up," and, and he's like, "Yeah, well, my bad." He's like, "Well, you know, you did your thing." He's like, "If you didn't do it, you'd still be whatever, and I'd still be Bran." And Whenever he tries to explain how he's not Bran, I roll my eyes really hard. My my note is every Brandon scene is the Pikachu meme. Right. 
Like every yeah. scene ends yeah. in like him saying something and the other person. <gasps> Um, I like he's just like you're not brand anymore. Like no, no, man. I'm something else now. He oh. is. Oh. Um, Can I still push you out a window? <laughs> like, maybe if we do that, maybe it'll fix you. Yeah. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to will you back? Or... <laughs> so, I would have loved to just push him where... into that little pond. <laughs> I would like to see a scene where someone's like, "Hey, like, what's the deal with the wheelchair guy?" Like, just a quick little little scene. <laughs> Just so everyone knows. This everyone's a little confused by this guy. Um, so, so the one thing I do have a question about about this scene. So, basically, Jamie says, like, hey, why didn't you fucking tell him? Like, why why did you why'd you let me get off scot-free, basically? And he's like, well, we need you in the fight. And then, and then Jamie's like, yeah, but what about afterwards? And then so he says, how do you know there is an afterwards? So is this just referring to the fact that Jamie's going to die very shortly after this fight? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, and then, then, and then yeah. Pikachu. But they didn't do him for the fight. <laughs> does he do no, anything? I can't remember if he does anything. I also can't remember. Nothing. Let's make a note to remember he that. He should have been dogpiled. Yeah, well, the problem the, is... Be careful. The problem is we won't be able to see it. Mm, again, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> Just remember, turn the yeah, brightness turn the and the contrast the all the way up yeah, on the yeah. TV. <laughs> Somehow he can Who fend off dozens upon dozens of whites coming at him. He doesn't need... They're, they're zombies. He doesn't need two hands. He doesn't need He's to be good. He's got armor. It's fine. He's got exactly. plot armor. Exactly. Which is going to fail well, him in a few episodes. That's for uh, next episode anyway. Let's not get started on that. <laughs> all right. So, uh, him and, and so Jamie and Tyrion are now like getting about the castle and uh um i guess he asks if daenerys is different and uh Tyrion says that she is and he says are you sure and then he says i am and i i, I like that because it's not true um what well, another dumb moment for Tyrion. yep yeah. uh and then yeah. and then again jamie confirms that the baby is real <laughs> But I still have issues with this baby thing. I have issues with the baby thing and issues with the baby thing timeline. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. The timeline is... Well, the timeline, just in general, but... Oh, yeah. They yeah, forgot about the timeline. Like, uh, they, they forgot about it. Yeah. Meme thing. They forgot... Put that on the board. They forgot how a baby works. <laughs> so, um... I guess I've always... Who... I know between Chris and Mark, you guys fought about the baby. Right. We did fight about the baby. I was always on the, like, I didn't think the baby was real. I think she lied to Jamie. And then I think she was desperately trying to get pregnant. To keep Jamie, I don't know. Okay, so if that, was, like if that was the that, case. For this season, there's that's too smart. I Well, oh, and I also think so that <laughs> if this was the case, we would have heard about it. They would have At made it. It was irrelevant. Right, and that's the thing. Yeah. At the end of the day, it didn't fucking matter. Because they, you know what? They forgot about the baby. Can um, we make a list? Have you ever done this? Uh, uh, make a list of what's irrelevant in, oh, in the season? So, Someone's already did. There's a whole bunch of memes. It's funny that you oh, mentioned yeah, that. Because we're actually going to go, after we're done this re-review, we're going to go through all the characters. I have a list of 75 characters. And we're going to we're gonna see how relevant their storyline was to the entire plot of the show oh yeah and and i think honestly i don't think anybody was relevant <laughs> like maybe maybe davos maybe maybe i guess cersei you could say cersei because she was there the whole time sure no, yeah she maybe. just stood and looked out the window the entire season irrelevant Dr drinking her wine and she did it really well <laughs> um so so then we've got uh Jamie goes out to talk to uh Brienne. Re really stick it on Jamie for the whole like first 20 minutes of this episode. Uh, Maybe the actor is only around for a couple right couple hours. hours. So <laughs> can we... I just say real quick to me no. <laughs> the moment the moment Tyrion and Jamie have that conversation, everything after that to me was just a bore fest. I just really? Gonna, just, I'm just throwing that out there. Yes. Wow. I thought after that, 
I started walking around. What's going on? I don't care. <laughs> looking yeah, out the yeah. window. You're looking out the window, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, I just wanted to throw that out there. At that point is when I, I, I think this episode is just like. Wow. Okay. Because I totally disagree. Nonsense. I Like I said, I love this episode. This is my favorite episode of the season, hands down. And, and I think I know why we are different here. Yeah. And we can talk about it at the end. Absolutely. But okay. I have a small theory. Okay. So uh, we see Podrick training people how to fight. So it's like, yay, Podrick knows how to fight now. This is this is the first hand of fan service. Yeah. Heading down right. to the dick into of the, fans. Into the nether region. <laughs> Having Podrick involved in this at all is such a like, yeah, fans, you like Podrick. Everybody loves Podrick. Um, and he's a badass now. Yeah, look at him. So... Um, Jamie basically says to Brienne, like, you know, I'm not the fighter I used to be, but I'd be honored to fight under your command after she gives him a shit for not insulting him. Um, yeah, that was pretty much that scene. Just Jamie wanting to fight. Again, like Again. we didn't know already. Yeah, yeah that we had two yeah. seasons of that already. But yeah. he needed to talk to her alone. Yeah, fans, um, you yeah. like being a Jamie? Um, so <laughs> maybe uh, just get every every other next scene of this episode, just keep that in the back of your head. Okay. Yeah, so our next scene, uh, we go to uh, Jorah telling Daenerys to forgive Tyrion for being an idiot because he's so smart and he learns from his mistakes. No, he doesn't. But he's Not an lately. Idiot. Right. <laughs> Not lately, as. <laughs> What so what happened? Did they forget that Tyrion was supposed to be smart? Yes. Did they they just forgot? You know who who I feel sorry for yeah. this entire season? It's Pierre Dinklage. He's probably looking at the script saying, guys, uh, I'm fucking me? dumb this year. Um, yeah, I used to have meat. Here's 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 the thing that Peter Dinklage looked at and said, I don't give a fuck, and that was his paycheck. Yeah. It just kept going paycheck, up. He looked at the script, he's like, fuck, this is garbage. But the paycheck showed up and he's like, I love this script. Oh. Yeah. How big oh, do you look, want I get my to, hair? I, can I get make to it say happen. I get to say the girl with the mouth around my cock again. I love it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um uh, so yeah, and I, I I just don't understand how he tricked everyone into thinking he's smart. Or how the writers tricked us into thinking he was smart, or they just stopped writing him well. I guess I don't know. Because they I think well, well. the thing is, I think he was, and then this served the plot better. And, and the it thing was, is, is, like it was smart in the books. In the books, he's an asshole in the books, and mm. he he never really was in the show. Like he's an asshole in the books. So I don't know. Yeah. I, th maybe this is like I'm still that... holding out hope that the last two books are going to be good. Maybe like this was they <laughs> they just got an actor to play that role very well and fans love them. Right. So they had to kind of change. Well, and it's funny that you mentioned that because I've been watching. It's the 15th anniversary of The Office. Like this past week it was 15 years ago it aired, and so I I got a couple. I went down a YouTube rabbit hole on a couple of videos about The Office, and how they changed Michael Scott. Cause like, if you guys watch the first season, his character yeah, in the it's... first season is so different than the rest of the show. Yeah. And, he's pretty harsh. In and the, they made in the first season, they made a couple things where, where, because he was in the first season, he was an idiot and he was bad at his job. And he was like, and he was mean spirited. And so as Ricky Gervais is that. And, and that's that. right. And it worked yeah. on the British yeah. office, but you can't do it and, and expect the people to like him. So that's where they changed it. Like they made him more of like a um, optimistic idiot rather than mean spirited. Well, he's that, a fool. And they also made it, cool. They that's also not. made a very strong point mm -hmm. of making it where he's good at his job, and because they did make it where he's like an excellent salesman. If yeah. Ever, so maybe, yeah. That, yeah. maybe that's it. With with like Tyrion was supposed to be a sack of shit. Right, but then he's so good at being likable. And so that and so that's it. And and you need to write it that way because you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose. But he's he's a sack of shit to the right people, and that's why people like. Because yeah, even it, in the books, no, he's, the, he's a likable person in the book. Like people he's like enjoy him. reading his chapter. Right, but yeah. he's still like like when you think about what he did to what's the what's the other dwarf, the girl dwarf, when he's oh with, yeah Penny yeah because he, he's a he's just a 
jackass to her the whole time. Like it's 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 actually hard to read the way he acts towards her. Which which book is this? The, that was the last one. I think it's the fifth one, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I haven't read that yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a dick. Spoiler. There's oh, a story. Oh yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> um okay so Gosh, then oh, so then we get the sansa um sansa daenerys scene i really uh, like i like also, i like this man. scene too such a bad i hey, like the, they got they had their girl power moment like oh we both rule people I we do pretty fucking did. good i think I my note did. was a, my note is and thus a meme was born yeah because it's that creepy daenerys smiling yeah <laughs> With the eyebrows all like, um, mm, no. And she makes like I like her point about who manipulates who. I guess that's what I liked about the scene. Well, I mean, I like Sansa's is like men are men do stupid things for women, and it's one hundred percent true. Mm -hmm. We are idiots. Yes, we are so dumb. Yes, and when there's a woman involved, multiply yes. it by a thousand. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and and so Agreed. when she comes in and says, "Oh, I'm here fighting John's war. Who manipulated whom?" Like, yeah, I like that rebuttal. I like no, it. No, it is. A it is a good rebuttal. But she's she's fighting John's war because she wants his army. She's not fighting John's war because she's in love with him. In my opinion, she, she still she was. needs John. Yeah, but she still needs John. If she wasn't in love with John. She would still do it because she needs John. Yeah, you're probably so, uh, right. Uh, that's the thing. Like, I I do also like the the he's true to his word. He's only the second man I can say that about. And uh, who's the other? Uh, someone much taller. I did mm. I did like that line. Who is she talking about? Drogo. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Who else yeah. would she be talking about? It's not Viserys. It's not Dario. <laughs> Maybe Jorah? Definitely not hey, Jorah. Can I, can I Jorah sold tall. her out. Are you can kidding? Can I ask Trots and Mark our question from last week real yes. quick? Yes. What do you think Dario's doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I think Which I forgot about him. Which one's Dario? Dario was the he's, one she He's the one she was boning just because. Oh, he that guy. He had his own huge army. <laughs> That's right. What are they doing? Just chilling, uh, man. You see, we forgot about him. <laughs> if what anything, you, Slaver's like, yo, yo, guys, she's gone. We can go back to slaving. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think he's doing right now? Cause he cause we talked about that when we they introduced the Golden Company more last episode, and it was like, well, Dario had his he led the other of the big cell second, sword second armies. Sons. So what what are they doing? Are they oh, just they got a, I bet you they're ruling right now. They're ruling something. Yeah. That's why is like, he's hey guys, pouring around. I left this entire giant army <laughs> Didn't need back it. in where I used to be. Didn't Should need. I go grab yeah, it? But, but hold on. <laughs> but she left the army there for a reason. Yeah, and this is a reason I can get behind. Well, I mean, story-wise, I can get behind because she freed the city and she wanted to make sure that it didn't go back to being what it was. But so if everything left... is about fighting the army of the day, you need if if you were accepting Jamie Lannister, I would put a call one dude, okay. one dude, white you're right. army that I have. Right. No, that. But you're leaving Dario of Selsor in charge of running. I think he changed he by the end. I think he account. changed by the end. No, but he's not. He doesn't know how to rule. And he's got the 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 dagger with the naked lady on it. Sure. Oh, oh I totally forgot. I have an army. Yeah. In a different city. Totally forgot. <laughs> Wait a second. I don't need to be here. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go <laughs> just, fly over. Uh, just, uh, just wait for us. We'll be back and like just go into Starbucks. That's it. Because ah, the coffee <laughs> cup, remember? And somebody did. Uh, okay. So, um, so then at the end of this conversation, Sansa's like, hey, so what happens at the end? Because... You know, we fought to take the North back. Um, we said we're never going to kneel to anybody else. What <laughs> happens when all this is over? And then they get rudely interrupted before Daenerys has to say, well, I don't fucking care what you think. You're part of the Seven Kingdoms. You're not going anywhere. And just chill out and just let them have the North. Like, come on. 
A lot of problems are solved if you just relax. Didn't we have the idea that everybody, that the kingdoms would split up? Like that would have been the, the perfect way to end it? That would have yeah. been amazing. The kingdoms split up. Oh, wonderful. It would have what been wonderful. That, so for those that didn't, weren't on last week or those that might not have listened, I am watching this season under the lens of do we ever see Daenerys being evil before like she literally snaps because not enough yeah not not, and i agree so far anyways and so so what we talked about last week is i think that like where people wind up is i think well where they'll wind up in the book and i don't really have a problem with that right i just have a problem with how the show got there it's like they had the ending and we're like oh fuck and then Uh, you had the perfect you had the perfect analogy last week so it's like when you get a big poster and you don't plan out what you're going to write and you start writing and you're like, uh-oh, and then you have to squeeze in the letters. <laughs> yeah. The, it's, season it's, eight that, is... That's it's it. the perfect that's analogy. It. It's the but, perfect. And the worst part is someone's there saying, hey, do you need more paper? Because I can give you as much paper as you want. No, 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 no. I just want, I just want the one paper. <laughs> just just and the here's one. the thing. You I'm could great. really combine the first two episodes, cut a few things out and combine them, and that's one episode. Yeah. So I guess this is this is a scene under the can we see Daenerys? Mark, we want more episodes, not less. <laughs> no, I'm saying you you condense this these two episodes to one episode. That way you can fix the end because you've just burned two episodes of just the same thing. Really, the first two episodes. Yep. 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 All right. So... so is this is this scene a glimmer of she's actually because. Like, you know what she was going to say if they weren't interrupted. Right. But I don't think that's and enough for her to be like... Almost feel like genocide, no. And, and No, but it's like proof that she isn't good. Right. And, I, and You might be able to argue that at that point, she sees herself as not being respected. Well, and so this maybe actually leads slowly into, it goes up. Well, and this leads into the next scene. Because the next scene is Theon, so they get interrupted by Theon coming back. That's what. That's why they why they get interrupted. So they go down to the main hall, and there's Theon, and he says to Daenerys, "So oh, like, uh, Yara's okay. Uh, she's going to the Iron Islands, and yada yada." And she's like, oh, "Why aren't you? Hold on, because this is a- this is actually relevant. So why aren't you with her?" And he says, I want to fight for Winterfell if you'll have me talking to Sansa. And Sansa's like, of course. And they hug and, you know, cry, whatever. And someone was chopping onions. I don't know who. Um, But Daenerys Daenerys looking at what was happening there, realizing that she doesn't inspire that in people. And there's there's further proof in this episode that that this happens, and I have a note about that, that she does not inspire that type of love out of people. Because you she can see it in her North. face. She did it back out. Yeah, she also just met this guy. It's not like... Right. They have a but, history. Okay, she did okay, so plenty wait of till, when she was... Wait, wait till we get to my scene, because there I is a scene. she's like, oh, I don't have this with anybody. Correct. And this she is what she starts realizing. She was... Hi. Sorry, my dog's here. Go ahead, Mark. Oh! She had that back when she was trying to get over yeah, yeah, yeah but it's gone is what i'm yeah, saying it's gone here yeah so but she's had it before so it's not like oh no what right but you know she's she knows that she doesn't have it here where she needs it oh my god <laughs> i'm distracted now look at Hello, that thing friend <laughs> Bortolo. oh board's first podcast oh. on well first twitch stream I think. All right, sorry, this Taylor. Is, we were talking about that. dogs. Yeah, no, yeah. no, we were not talking about. Hey, we did see uh, ghosts in this episode, by the way. We did. Um, did we? Yep. When did we see ghosts? When Sam and John and uh, Ed are on the castle talking. No, um, okay. He had a he had a look on his face of, "Am I still relevant, guys?" Hey. <laughs> Hey, I'm so, back. <laughs> so then we we get the scene with Davos telling the little girl that she's the one that looks kind of like Shireen that you know, oh go protect the people in the crypts. Yada yada yada. Um, oh yeah, again, you, can cut that, you can cut that scene out. Yeah, hey, remember uh, when we thought the crypts were going to be relevant? Yep. Uh well, they were kind of relevant. 
were they? I mean, the fucking dead Starks came back to life. They can punch through stone somehow. Don't. <laughs> of course they can. They're they undead. They must have uh, Batman's brace thing from uh, Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. Um, okay, so uh, Tormund and uh, the Night's Watch guys show up. Um, say, oh, they'll be here by tomorrow morning. Before sunrise tomorrow morning. And then Tormund with the, is the big woman still here? Mm, mm. I fucking Tormund love Tormund. is incredible. Um, okay, so John gives us the speech, breaking down how they're going to, what the game plan is. Um, Terrible. Yeah, the game plan's not very good. And then Bran's like, oh, well, we'll I'll just be bait. Because he's coming for me. He wants me. Um, and I mean, they kind of explain what the Night King wanted. And I think we had it. We had an argument at one point about like his him not having any real motivation. That was the only point of that scene was to set up a good motivation for the Night King. Yeah. Right. But yeah. then that was it. And then they didn't follow up on that. But that's what do you mean? Didn't follow up on it. What do you need well, to follow up a... on it for? That's it. Yeah. He's coming. He wants to erase the, the world. It's fine. I, I, I think my problem is is so that one line when he's like he's coming for me and and John's like if we take him out we take everyone out. In my head I'm just like okay if you have that many soldiers and you just know they can just wipe people out and you can just raise dead why are you even anywhere on the battlefield just, just hang go back after the night king and just no like the night king should just hang back yeah. Oh yeah! All right, just call me when you're ready. Yeah, like, call me yeah, when you got that last guy. Let everybody oh, out. Let me know. Let me know when everyone else is dead. Yeah, let me know when it's just Bran. I'll show up, give him a stab. stab. Like he's got like what seven White Walkers with him? Yep. Go ahead, guys. Yeah. Why does he? Yeah. <sighs> hey, dragon. Hey, that's, go. That's go. The, that's the next episode. Don't don't yeah, yeah, don't worry yeah, about that yet. Next week's episode's gonna be really quick because it's. So like, oh, so there was a fight, yelling, and we yeah. couldn't see anything. But in this right. scene, is this is this one of the thesis I thesis theses of the series uh -huh. that humanity is its history? Right. Okay. Uh, is that is that one of the point? Because I know George R. R. Martin's thing is like it's not just good versus evil. Like there's so much gray. And there, there's a whole theory about how the White Walkers were coming now because humans breached the wall, and like yeah, it would have been we, nice if the Night King, you know, explained himself, but we didn't get yeah, that. Yeah, like we fucked with their territory, so you know, this is why they're coming for us because we actually are the assholes and we're the, the bad guys, indigenous peoples, right. you know, thing. So is this one of the theses? Is you know, I like the line without memory, Sam's line without memories. Yeah. We have nothing. I'd go for you first too if you are the memory of of people. Right. <gasps> There's another dog. <laughs> oh, who's this little face? Uh, this is Celeste. Oh. Why oh my god. Your um camera like hogging cats. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't like being held. <laughs> oh. Um... Are you talking about the cat? Yeah, the camera hogging cat. Every time oh, you're on, the cat's just yeah, like she, she's our. She, he'll be on his way. <laughs> so, uh, so Theon offers to stay in the Godswood with Bran to help protect him. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Just you? All right. Just you. No, and the <laughs> Ironborn. Ironborn. Yeah. Oh, and the What's Ironborn. Up? Yeah. Uh, you, like five being... guys with our most precious cargo. Yeah. Okay. Imagine being one of those Ironborn question. guys. If you gotta kill someone, are you just gonna run at them? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Yes. Uh... You're in. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so they then... They won't see me coming if I run right at them. Wait, that's <laughs> And then Tormund's like, we're all going to die. At least we die together. And John says, all right, everyone needs to get some rest. Which means boning, apparently. Or getting Whoa. drunk. Getting drunk seems like a really bad idea. I just want to point that out. Well, Brienne points that out as well. Right, but but it's like a really bad idea. That's this whole strategic thing is just a mind fuck. It's like it makes no fucking sense. All right, so um, okay. yeah, eighty percent of people in that room survived that fight. By the way, so the next scene is the scene I was talking about, where um, where Daenerys does not inspire the love that she used to. So we have uh, Missandei and Grey Worm 
So Miss Sandy comes out and she tries to talk to the two little girls who don't like brown people. Yeah, my my note for this scene is get it. They're black. Yep. <laughs> so can't like them. <laughs> like black people. So Grey Worm and Miss Sandy both are like, yeah, when all this is over, we're out of here. Yeah. And what's funny and, is that Miss Sandy doesn't tell Grey Worm, hey, by the way, you come back to my island, gonna die. There's right. this thing called these butterflies we have that are, you know, poisons to non natives. But you should come anyways. Yeah, you we're should, you'll be people. fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Wait. So your point, Chris, is that like even they're these willing are the, to These leave? are the two people who who from who've been with her for a very long time and at one point would have been the the like the pinnacle of the people who love Daenerys. And they're at a moment's no they're like, when this is over, we're fucking out. Well he says cause there'd be no more wars to fight. Yeah, I see it She's as a way always, of... Listen, she would always need protection as a queen. He'd be the king's guard, right? Right. So, I but just... I, uh... I, to me, the fact that they both were like, yeah, let's get out of here. Like, I mean, I know it was supposed to be kind of a lovey-dovey scene, but this is also to demonstrate that Theon came back from safety because of and because of what he's done to the Starks and the love he has for them, he's coming back to fight for them and die for them and i'm not but saying so that is, i'm not saying so that is everyone Grey else there though none of those people are fighting for Daenerys, or yeah they're all fighting for the starks in right. the north right and so this is just her seeing it and again she sees it way more in what is that episode four i guess when they when they have the big party after they win and there's starbucks cups there because she sees everybody yeah. congratulating john and loving john and she gets none of it <laughs> So. Uh, I don't know. My my theory here is that in all those well, other thing. places that she saved all these slaves and all that, she was doing something for those people. Those people needed her. Right. But now she's in a place where she's not needed as most. She needs them. Right. So yeah. I can see what you're saying, but it, it's silly that she doesn't see that. Like Also, if she was at a party with the Thraki, they would be like partying it up. Of course, they're all gone, but wait, no, hold on. They'll be back. Yep, because they forgot. Uh, <laughs> um, I forgot. I was like, oh, yeah, where is the Dothraki army? So, um, okay, so the next scene is like the start of the best scene of the whole fucking... Th this might be the best, my favorite scene in the whole series. Oh, um, no. What? What? Oh no! No, this is the the um where you know uh, Jamie and Tyrion are sitting there talking about if if Tywin could see them, uh, protecting Winterfell, uh, and then Pod and Brienne come in and they're like, "Oh, have some wine and uh, just half a cup for Pod," and he fucking it's like overflowing. The greatest Pod's face in that scene is great. Um, and then Davos and Tormund come in. <laughs> And then Davos. Can I just, can I just interject here? Yeah. Is that like the only fireplace in the entire place? Because everyone wanted to go find someplace warm, yet yeah, they all well, came to this one. It's room. a big castle, right? It is so. a big castle. Yeah. It only looks big. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I'm the sure walls... some rooms actually have fireplaces. Are, isn't there a spring underneath it, and it keeps the walls warm? I'm not wrong about that, right? That's. Anyways. I don't think so, but I like the gesture you're doing for a spring. Yeah, this is the spring. Uh, see, and, and it's no longer just an audio podcast. And if you are listening, you can watch this as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so and then Tormund tells the story of how he got the name Giant Spain. Tormund is a fucking treasure. Yeah, that part's very funny. Oh I my will God. Admit. Very so, funny. He's, he's amazing. He's a great character. That actor plays him so well. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Th this whole this whole next like few minutes is just is just so good. We get the Arya Arya and the Hound on the top of the castle, and uh, she asks him, you know, like what what are you doing up here? Like why are you up here? What when was the last time you fought for someone other than yourself? And he says, Well, I fought for you, didn't I? And I'm like, Oh, I missed that. Oh, I had eye rolls. Just <laughs> flying, Chris. Damn hey, it. fans. Can, can, can I quickly ask? Oh, is, is Lord of the Light on your list of characters? 
is for what? the end thing? The Lord Fair of Light? The light? Or yeah. the Lord of Light no. in general? No. Because he's irrelevant. Are you talking about the concept of the Lord of the Lights? Or yeah, or because you, the entire, so, yeah. like, the entire build of the series, like, there's this one god oh, that apparently is trying promise. to fight the king as well, all these prophecies, and, yeah, none of that came to pass. May Mark, be relevant. Mark, religion exists in real life. Oh, I get that. Okay. But they made a whole how, point of it in how, this hold series. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. The series how is relevant, called Fire and Ice. How relevant is religion to real life? Oh, Here's the thing. It's more it, the, show, than you think. the show made it relevant when it's all these red pieces have these powers. Think. And yet, <laughs> the cat is nothing comes thing. of it. No. Uh, After I she don't... lights the swords and the trench, like, that's all the Lord of Light's jobs. That's, he's done, guys. Okay. It's all you now. Okay. So you can only open the door. You have to walk through it. Like that Matrix, ref matrix, uh, matrix <sighs> reference. Easy for me to say. Very nice. Um, okay, so... Uh, oh, then, no. So, okay, so Arya and the Hound are talking, and then uh, fucking... Oh, shit. You just said his name. Why can I not... But Beric? Beric? Beric, thank you. Beric shows up and he starts rambling and Arya's like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. You guys are bringing me down. She's like, you know what I need to do? I, need to I gotta go find that Gendry guy. <laughs> I need to go hey, bone. <laughs> Technically, she was actually shooting bows. Gendry found her. That's and true. Then she decided, okay. And, oh, that's a good that's point. Right. That's and, a good point. And Gendry did the creeping this time. Yeah. And then she asks what the Red Woman did and yada, yada, yada. Um... And then he, he, I, she asks how many women he's been with, and he's like, ah, I, I didn't keep count. And she's like, yes, you did. <laughs> it's just so out of character for her to care about uh, this. She, yeah, was she, why she, was she asking? Uh, hold on, hold on, because she, she specifically says, I'm probably going to die tomorrow. I'd like to at least know what it's like. But I can understand that. For her, I though. can what? understand that motivation. I've oh, never God. had steak. You know what? I might die. Let me go find some steak. That's irrelevant. Mark, that's two different fucking things, and you know as it. A young, as a young straight man, do you grow up waiting for your first steak? No. No, but you do not. She, she did not have that as a priority at all in her life. She did after she saw him hammer in the metal. <laughs> Right. She thought, wait a second, before <laughs> that I could die, be me. I gotta get me a piece Hormones of Hormones kicking in. He <laughs> can hammer me anytime. <laughs> uh, hey, okay, so I have a serious question. Is Arya's side boob the last boob we see in this show? Because I think it is. I think it, it is. is. I do not remember seeing boobs after this. We will need to keep track. Yeah. Um, Was there any in the first episode? Yes. Yes, uh, um, I mean, Bron. I watched the first episode. Bron, Bron clearly. was with the Bron was with the three uh, prostitutes. Yeah, so course, you see yes. six boobies and then one side boob. Mm -hmm. and um, I think that maybe do you, like did John and Daenerys fuck again? And you never nope. see her titties. Nope. I don't think they Not do. After I think that's, out that. Yeah, I think that uh, was the end of it. it. Yeah, I think that was the end of it. No more gross uh, auntie nephew sex. Um, okay, so uh, we go back into the room with Jamie and everybody else. Uh, and Tyrion says, I guess everybody here has fought the Starks at one point or another. Um, and then I think Brienne says, we'll all die with honor. And then Jamie goes to get her a drink and calls her sir. And he's like, oh, no, wait, it's Lady. And then, uh, she, uh, oh, uh, Tormund's like, why, why aren't you a knight? And she's like, oh, women can't be knights. It's like, why not? Tradition. Fuck tradition. God, I love Tormund so much. And the, I would knight you ten, ten times, times over. Ten times over. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Jamie's like, wait, you don't need to be a king. A knight can make a knight. So Jamie's like, let's do this. And um, he says the words and makes her knight. And then this was the real who's cutting onions line. Cause like. Niagara Falls every time with this scene. Aww. It's it's so knighting? good. She's so happy. It's all she's ever wanted. I and guess. I love I love her character. I really oh, her do. Her character is fantastic. I really like her character. I really do. And this and and it's Jamie doing probably his 
one of his last good deeds, right? So she's one of the few characters, and I also just have an onion there because I think he he's one too. She's one of the few characters that has stayed true to the character the entire time. Yes. Yep. A hundred percent. But that's and, and it's Davos e- is the same. Because it's easy Davos for those characters to, like- but it's easy for those characters because they're so they're so singularly focused. I don't think Davos is. I think Davos is just I will. I need to do. I will always err on the side of justice. Right. Yeah, Davos has got a lot going on. Because remember, sure. he was like wavering when Stance was like getting all. Well, yeah, and he, ne- by but the he ne- right, and he never he never trusted Melisandra. Yeah, but he knew that he couldn't say it to him. But I don't know. And and like well, yeah, I think Brienne is a bit more singularly focused than Davos, right? But if she's never strayed from that. I I my duty is to protect the realm, right? Um, so she is now a knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Okay, and then we get cameras panning outside, and we hear uh, Jora telling Lyanna Mormont like hey you're the future of our house you need to be in the crypts and she's like fuck uh, that whoops. fuck you I'm fucking fighting <laughs> god I love Lyanna Mormont so much she's also, great too I like her character I love her and I ended up and I, I mean roll back the tapes I gave Jorah a lot of shit cause I hated him mm-hmm. but I think he's also had a really great arc he has mm-hmm. I think he I has. Think he's had a great. He's he's also stayed true to his character. One hundred percent. He was, he he was a shithead at the very beginning, and turned it around almost immediately, because he knew that guy was gonna poison her, and he took it. He said, "No, you first, right?" With the wine, and that was where he switched. That was where he stopped being only for Jorah and started being like, "No, I I actually like this girl, and I want her to." To rule, but then he was he was pervy with her in a weird way. But then I think it became no love with her. That's yeah, that was never never not the case that he wasn't in love with her. But um, okay, so uh, then Sam comes down and gives Jorah uh, heart's pain. Um, says your father taught me how to be a man and to do what's right, and so Jorah's like, I'll wield it in his honor. Um, yeah, and then Pod starts singing, and then we get all the everybody sitting around eating, getting ready for the fight. I was looking at the back of my inside of my head when he was singing. Oh, I, I like the song. Anyone know a song that'll cheer us up? Yes, I'm going to sing the creepiest one I know. Yeah. <laughs> I like, like, I like it's about a girl named Jenny. I really love this episode. I like this episode a lot more the second time. I do think they did a very great job with building tension. Right. Because this, this like episode I, was tense. Like, it's like the last... I think the entire episode, you're waiting for those horns. Right. Because yeah, it could be any minute. Yeah. Uh, and, I, see, and then I they ruined fine. that whole episode by killing nobody in the next episode. Except um, for Ed. Yes. Excuse me? And killing Leanna, nobody? And Jorah. That's it. And Jora. Yes. Yeah. Jorah Mormont would like to have a word with you. But again, 80% of those people are alive. Everyone in that fireplace room was alive. Mm-hmm. Is Jorah the only major character who dies? Uh, yes. Theon, yes. I guess. Yeah, Jorah and Theon. Theon, yeah, yeah. But Theon, if that was his own fault. And this yeah. is the problem. Like, like Mark, I totally agree with you that there needed to be a higher cost for that fight. That fight needed oh, yeah. to... That fight like, needed even to... when they show Sam getting dogpiled, I'm like, oh, no. Right. And John just leaves them? Like, okay, right. Sam's dead, right? Yeah. No. Nope. So. No, and then, the, uh, well, again, we'll get to it next week, but yeah, it's yeah. it's not it's not good. Um, can, I just jump, can I just jump in with something for the ladies? Yes. While everyone was talking, and I was for sure paying attention, mm-hmm. I was just Googling Ian Glenn, who plays... Uh, Sir Jorah Mama. And young Ian Glenn, mm-hmm. do yourself a favor, ladies and men, and Google that, because that's some that's some good stuff. <laughs> Carry on. I'm, I gotta look right now. Carry. Right. Carry. Carry oh, on. He is Batman right now. What? He's Bruce Wayne in the Titans series. 
There it is. Okay. Um. So, oh, we get um. John's down in the Save crypts. Save me some time. <laughs> You're welcome. So John's down in the crypts, and uh, Daenerys comes down. She's like, I guess. Uh, I guess we should Looking finally good. talk since we haven't talked all episode because I've been running away from you. Uh, and you're telling her now? Well, and she's like, who's this? He's like, oh, it's uh, Leanna Mormont. Mon- or Leanna Mormont. Le- Leanna Stark. Oh, and she's like, oh, yeah, my brother, like, raped her, right? Like, that's crazy because he seemed like <laughs> such a good dude. Everyone says what a good dude he was. I can't believe he just raped her like that. Well, I told myself it wasn't going to say anything unless you brought it up. So here it is. Uh, that's my mom and your brother's my dad. But here's the thing. It's made irrelevant because everyone he's, he's told tells nobody else. It's not brought up at the end of the series at all. Well, uh, it's also made irrelevant because it has zero bearing on the plot, it turns out. That's what I mean, right? Yeah. Except. And so... so- mm. So she's like, well, you know, it's kind of convenient that only, like, that your brother told you this and your best friend backed it up. Like, that's pretty convenient. He's like, I know it's true. Um, and and then she's like, well, you would have a claim. And I'm like, um, no, he has the claim. Like, your claim mm-hmm. is because because Rhaegar was next in line, and his son would be next in line, not you. So. Made so, it more relevant because he doesn't want it. Although, <laughs> I have two questions. Then isn't that all he says for the rest of the yeah, season? After this, and she's my queen. I don't want it. And she's my queen. Don't she's my want queen. It. Right. So I get you're te- the, you're telling her now. It's right. like, would you not wait until like let's just? Let's I don't want to mess with her head. Let's get through the battle. battle. Yep. And then I'll tell you. Because you know what? If she dies in the battle, then uh, hey. Or if he dies in the battle, hey, okay. it's all good. Yeah. Is this is this where she snaps? Not Miss Sandy, spoiler alert. This is where she's like, uh oh. Yes. The only way to get this now is gonna be by There's, this is I think this is where she starts uh, yeah. tipping a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But not enough to justify genocide again. She's In that, that moment, point. no, 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 no. Mark, you but don't I know though. I You're am... not riding a dragon. Maybe when you're riding a dragon, you're like, you know what? I feel like burning hey, every motherfucker someone, in this city. I'm feeling if good. If I match someone, I'm <laughs> going to go after that person. I'm not going to say, hey, well, you rain a person. So, the, like... You would be a I bad thought, dictator. I thought the Masandi <laughs> head getting cut off was what the writers used to be like, this This is what right. makes her go nuts. But I think this is it, because this is like... Everything she's worked for, and we all know this is book readers and series, but everything she's worked for for eight seasons, her entire life since she was a child, it is just came crumbling down. Pointless yeah, now. It just came crumbling down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because she spends the next the rest of the season trying to get him to keep a secret. Right. Don't yeah. tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Oh, you told your sister. But that's okay. They didn't tell anyone else, so it didn't fucking matter. Yeah, no, she told Tyrion. And Tyrion, and Tyrion told no one else. And Tyrion told oh, Varys. And Tyrion told Varys, yeah. But then that's it. But then, and then Varys get wrote brought the up. Letters. This is the thing, Mark, because this is what was going to happen. It's the same with Joffrey being uh, Jaime and, and, and Cersei's bastard. Everybody knew. It would have been more relevant had Varys, those letters that Varys had wrote, that Chris brought up, and all the lords came up at the end saying, hey, hold up. Hold up. The real king's Hold in up. prison right now, even though he should be dead because and, Grey Worm kills everyone. And that's what I... Do, that, there's two things there that I don't understand. Because one, John should have been the king at the end of the series. Yeah. Or they should have broken up the, the, kingdoms. the kingdoms. And I think that's yeah. that would have been a better ending. Break up the kingdoms and John can ride north with his with his real uh, love, Tormund. His real family, <laughs> yeah. So I'll tell you why this scene just meant nothing to me. Uh-huh. When I read the first book way back when, there's a small scene in the book that made me instantly think John was Lana Stark's son. Right. And I had that with me through this. All the way through. For yeah. everything. So when it finally happens, I'm just like, yep. I mean, pretty I obvious. Think, I, think we I just all... didn't think it was that good of a scene. Right. So, okay. So, Trotz, you said at the beginning that you had a feeling you knew why I like this episode okay. and you don't like this episode. So let's let's hear that. This episode is, like you said, is full fan service, right? Only fan full service. Full fan yeah, service. only fan okay, service. Okay, so I watched the last 
four seasons, maybe f- three, all at once. Yes. So when I I didn't have to wait a year and a half to see these characters again. Mm-hmm. I only had to wait a couple minutes. Right. And so to me, this episode is just like it's boring. It feels pointless. Mm-hmm. It feels like it it doesn't need to be there, especially once it's done. And to me, there are so many things. And to me, could, like, why wasn't this at why was an episode one just the catch up thing? You could still do that. I get that because it's a show and it's not a Netflix binge. It's it's something you're waiting for. Right. Um, but why don't you have that all in the one episode? The second episode should have been all about the Night King. Nothing else. Right. Just who the Night King is. That would have been why way he's doing better. what he's doing. That's what way it should better. have been. So this episode is just a bore fest to me because I don't care about any of these people. Right. And but where because I've, you waited a like, year and a half like, to listen, see these characters again. I think I only I I watched I, the first episode the day it aired, and then I didn't watch anything else until after the first season was done. But after that, I watched every episode the day they aired. So oh, like yeah. I never. You know, like I, I never, I didn't binge any of this except for that first season, and then the so when when season eight aired, you're think you're talking like it was a year and it was about a seven year or eight half. months. Yeah, yeah. That it was between seasons. Yeah. And yeah, it was just like getting to see all these characters again, all interacting. It it wouldn't but you have mattered. Don't, you don't see it watching it a second time when you know I, everything. No, 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 no you I do. Still like the episode. I, Hey, listen, I, hold on. I dislike it even Cause, more. Because if we roll back the tape and go back to season seven, when they went beyond the wall, so it was, it was John and Jorah and, and the Hound and Gendry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I complain. How much did I complain about that episode? About a lot, it being it was a terrible episode. It was, I'm like, this is just fan service. It's bullshit. Like, they're setting yeah, up yeah. all these things. And, and I knew that it was fan service. And I fucking hated it and then season eight rolls around and and again it's fan service and i know it's fan service but this one i couldn't i couldn't help it um but and, this show I like totally i totally see that that i can see your opinion on it that's why i don't want to right i don't want to sway yeah, yeah. either way um but i i really think that that would be the polar opposite opinion oh no and, that, and it totally you, makes you, sense you see it so like in 10 years from now, and if you want someone to watch this all at once, that episode is just going to be an eyesore. It's good. It is. It's really going to be like like the That's show comes point. to a screeching halt. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you can condense both those episodes combined. One episode. episode. In an hour and, and a half. It the third season of Stranger Things is the same thing. Those first two episodes should have been in one episode. There's too yeah. much reminiscing. It's pointless. Do it once. We'll right. all like it. And then move on. Um, all right, guys. Was there anything else we wanted to say about this episode? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, last note is fucking zombie horse motherfuckers. All zombies <laughs> next episode. No, I, I, really, I did really like that end scene of looking at, like, I think it's Jorah looks out and he just, you just kind of see the, uh, like, I just love that, like, and it's, it's not it's necessarily happening. Game of Thrones thing. It's more like a, any any military thing of like they're coming and yeah. we don't know when, and we can kind yeah. of see them, but we don't know when they're actually going to get here. Right. That is a really good shot. I agree with you. And I am, for those that might not know, fucking terrified of zombies, and I really hate horses. So combined, it's just a bad. <laughs> this is just just a bad scene. And bad. when they panned up from the hoof, I was like, no, 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 no. It was. I watched this at two thirty in the afternoon, <laughs> with the lights on. All the lights, lights on. on, and I was still like, "Oh, <laughs> zombie horses!" Awesome. All right, guys. Um, so we'll be back next week, uh, to look at uh the long night. I think it's called. And it's yeah. a long one. Yeah. So Lovely. yeah, we. So we'll be back to complain about that episode. Hopefully, it'll be shorter because there's not much to talk about because it's all just fighting and everyone's surviving so like yeah oh. it's no helms deep the plot I think, armor is i think thick. you just did it i think we're done oh we go right like, to the bells we could do what they did and just cut this episode into two episodes perfect <laughs> you skipped an episode after the bells there oh Chris. did i was there's oh there's one that. in between the bells shit yeah, yeah. the last of the starks i think it the is. last of the starks that's it you're right 
all right mm. guys so thanks for tuning in uh we'll be back next week make sure you check us out we're streaming on twitch uh for for this show from now on so it'll be uh and twitch, twitch.tv slash zanus to set for that uh it will be on youtube as well so check out youtube.com the death i uh, believe it, they, they can look it's right it's on the, screen it's right there but what about people just listening and they're like i want to know what it'll these be in the show notes sounding people look like it'll be in the show notes they can or just click the show to watch it to see it that's right look it up that's right man these people sound attractive they are super attractive <laughs> that is the case all right guys so we'll catch you guys next week uh i i don't, I don't know what to do with my hands you've been listening to a rebel press podcast visit rebelpress.com for more podcasts